This, this, is, this is really important and um, I, I hope that this can get out on the web uh, as far as possible, as quickly as possible. I've um, been watching this for a while. If you um, do only one thing uh, in, in the next few months that um, is to protect you and your family, then do this. Don't have the vaccine. Don't have the vaccine. Tell as many people as you can, don't have the vaccine. Get on the internet. Check it out. Go to my website. You'll, you'll see the, um, the charges that have been filed with the FBI against this uh, group of people and organizations. This is the idea. Because they want to dramatically reduce the number of people in the world. And they also want to um, access the body. Um, and therefore destabilize it mentally, emotionally and physically. This is why we've had this explosion of vaccines for kids to the point now where they're having 25 or more before the age of two, yes, in America and Britain and elsewhere, and this is pouring total shite into a still emerging immune system You've got a growing, developing immune system, and you're saying the first two years of life, have some of that, darling. We have an incredible defense system called the human immune system. And when that is strong and in optimal efficiency, it keeps us well. It gets rid of, 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 of foreign attacks on the body. If you undermine the human immune system, or you stop it developing properly so it's undermined for life by throwing all this stuff at uh, under twos, then you open people up to getting illnesses and, and being uh, killed by things that the immune system in its true optimal state would deal with easily. There is a war on the human immune system because when that goes down, we go down. Because we, we ain't going to live for long if that's not working properly. And, and they're targeting the kids from a very, very early age. And that's what this is all about, on one level. But on another level, this is about a colour of the population. I'm not saying for a second that vast numbers of people will kill over overnight. That would be too bloody obvious. But the effects of this vaccine, as, it, as people um, move forward, is going to manifest itself in lots of different ways. It's, it's more likely that there will be effects of many and various kinds, because... The body is an electrochemical organism and it has an optimum electrochemical balance and we call that health. When you imbalance that through introducing chemicals and electromagnetic um, sources, then you move it from optimum and it no longer works uh, correctly emotionally, mentally or physically. And if you look at the cumulative chemical onslaught, particularly on children, but people in general, in food, drink, soft drinks, uh, and mobile phones, and all that stuff on the electromagnetic side. Um, humans are being bombarded. Um, there's a war on our children's minds, there's a war on our children's immune systems, and there's a war on our children's emotional balance. And it's um, connected into all these different areas of food, of drink, and of vaccines, of pharmaceutical medicines. They invent diseases so that problem, or in this case, no problem, reaction, solution. Take this. That's like the, the 1976 US swine flu. Uh, there, were, there was loads of scary adverts on TV. Oh, yeah. Betty went to the shop and she gave it to, and there was all that kind of stuff. And as it went on, the music got darker, yeah. the voice echoed, it was really... And then they showed people kind of playing golf and then shivering in bed. It's but, a, it's, this is it. The whole foundation of it is a mind game. Yeah. It's about the manipulation of our perception of everything because our perception leads to our behavior and our actions. If you're going to control someone's actions, then you need to control their perception because that controls their actions. And the perception they want people in more than anything is danger, danger, danger. Because once you get someone in fear of something, they will look outside of themselves for something or someone to protect them from what they've been manipulated to fear. So get them to fear swine flu, they will then say, save me from swine flu, okay, 
Thank you very give much. Give us your arm. Good night. Right. G give us your children's arm. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, darling, you must be You must be vaccinated. The swine flu's coming. Uh, yeah. Pathetic. All you, all you people have got to do, go on the internet um, and put in 1976 swine flu um, conspiracy or worse to that effect. Or go into um, uh, YouTube and see the adverts they put out in 76 to frighten people into being vaccinated for an epidemic that did not happen and the consequences of it. Pe people died, people had uh, their minds scrambled, it was, yeah. and, and they want to do that now on a massive case cause, uh, uh, scale. What they do, you see, is they have um, their version of trials. They've got a big version of something coming, but further down the line, or back down the line, they try it out, and they're, what they're looking for is will the public do it? Will the public stand for it? Will the public react the way we want?